Welcome to Wakefield Manufacturing, home of inner seal DPS and hydro top sealers, the two best products ever made to prevent the top two problems associated with cultured stone, efflorescence and water damage. Got problems? We've got answers. Cultured stone has a couple of problems you need to know about. Efflorescence. Efflorescence causes the white stains that you often see on cultured stone. Cultured stone is also prone to water damage, which can lead to major problems with the structure of your house. Cultured stone is made of concrete, and unsealed concrete acts like a sponge. Wakefield Manufacturing has answers to the problems of efflorescence and water damage on cultured stone. How does Inner Seal DPS stop efflorescence and water damage to cultured stone? By preventing ASR, an alkali silica reaction which occurs in concrete between alkali and silica in the presence of water. Inner Seal DPS eliminates two of the three components needed for ASR to occur, alkali and water. On most concrete, Inner Seal DPS will stop efflorescence before it starts. Inner Seal DPS fights efflorescence in three ways. First it purges the minerals and salts that are already at the surface, second it locks the remaining alkali deep within the concrete so they cannot reach the surface, then seals the pores against water and moisture migration, therefore stopping the root cause of the problem. Inner Seal DPS can be used on all concrete, mortar, block and most natural stone masonry. Do not use Inner Seal DPS on brick or tile. When combating efflorescence, Wakefield recommends applying Hydro Top Penetrating Sealer over Inner Seal DPS as an additional layer of protection. For most masonry applications, including brick, concrete pavers, and manufactured or cultured stone, Hydro Top is your weapon against efflorescence. To stop efflorescence and water intrusion, Hydro Top should be applied immediately after mortar has cured, or about 28 days. Apply liberally being sure to saturate mortar joints completely. If efflorescence is already present on the masonry, specialized cleaning may be required before application of hydro top. When cultured stone is poured at the factory, and the moisture evaporates out, there are millions of microscopic voids left in the cultured stone. These voids allow for moisture to re-enter the cultured stone from either the top or bottom. This occurs by hydrostatic pressure, or wind-driven rain. If this occurs, the moisture will reactivate the alkali and it will fill the voids with what we call, quote unquote, cancer, in the cultured stone. This alkali water now moves through the cultured stone attacking any sealer that is attached to the structure. The pH of most sealers is 7.5 to 9.5, the pH of the alkali water is around 13 to 14 and will destroy any topical sealers that are attached to the surface. So the purpose of the inner seal DPS being applied to the blue plates with alkali water is to demonstrate how the inner seal DPS stops the moisture and the alkali in your cultured stone, thus creating a first stage moisture vapor barrier deep inside the stone. Inner seal DPS is not affected by the pH, so looking at the first plate day 1, alkali powder is added with a high pH to some inner seal DPS. There is a chemical reaction that is now starting to take place inside the cultured stone. It goes from a liquid into a gel state inside the structure where all the voids start fusing itself to the inside of the cultured stone. Once this process starts from day 1, and continuing to day 6, the chemical reaction changes from a gel structure to a hardened crystal structure filling all the voids and linking all the cultured stone voids together. This growth uses up all the available alkali as seen on the plates, as the crystal structure continues to grow over the plate. Once this chemical process has been completed, the interior of the cultured stone can have an increase of 23% strength measured in PSI within 28 days. It will now block all moisture and alkali from attacking your coatings. The good news about Inner Seal DPS is that no topical sealer is needed, other than the application of the Hydro Top which is our second stage moisture vapor barrier. Both products allow your stone to breathe and never require a topical sealer, which wouldn't allow your stone to breathe. If budget requirements don't allow for the use of both Inner Seal DPS and Hydro Top Deep Penetrating Sealer, 
you can use the Hydro Top as a standalone sealer. Hydro Top by itself is far superior to cheap siloxin sealers which have to be reapplied every 1 to 3 years to offer any protection at all, and never pass the ASTM 514 wind driven rain test. To change the color of your stone and achieve an ultimate seal, use inner seal Densi Dye DPS colored with the brilliant Wakefield coloring system followed by clear hydro top sealer. These are just a few examples from jobs where our products were applied. The combination of inner seal DPS and hydro top not only provides for the ultimate seal, it also dramatically enhances the natural beauty of the color of your stone. Mark Wakefield of Wakefield Manufacturing works in a consultative role with many cultured stone and concrete installation and resurfacing professionals, and even has a relationship with the local university as a guest lecturer. You are personally invited to consult with Mark on your project, so that you can benefit from the years of knowledge of one of the top experts in this field. Wakefield Manufacturing? Got problems? We've got answers. Our products provide the ultimate seal for cultured stone. Last for the lifetime of the cultured stone, strengthen the stone, stop efflorescence, and allow your stone to breathe, all while maintaining a completely natural appearance. There is no better sealing system on the market for cultured stone than Wakefield Manufacturing Inner Seal DPS and Hydro Top. Period. Give us a call today. We've got answers.